trying to they're trying to blackmail me and notice though important point is he's saying there say nick yeah. christopher yeah so so he's now acknowledging right so so anyways i i said oh come on let him bring some motion he goes no maybe some other time but not today because he didn't like the fact he so anyway the reason i'm mentioning this is because christopher then later texted me and goes he said no and i he goes and i said but i said that's why i told you not to ask like i wanted you i i worded it specifically of course nicholas had to approve or disapprove but i were i sent him exactly what to say say i'm gonna bring smush and then a question mark as opposed to is it okay if i bring right smush? so guess who kiboshed my wording who karen, karen. why <laughs> how what <laughs> Because she told Christopher what to write. She told Christopher she, what to write. What? She told Christopher what to ask if it was okay. So, I, I you know, I just had to let that go. What was I supposed to say? Well, yeah, you know, I know. You know, then, then, then Karen, then Karen and Christopher would have been at each other and stuff. So I was like, yeah. fuck. So I just had to leave it alone. But, but, you know, he, Christopher's wording made it too easy for Nick to say no. Of course. Yes, of course. And I specifically, I sent the words to Christopher. I said, I said, uh, hey, I'm yeah. gonna bring smush with a question mark. That's what you said, just like that. And then Karen said, oh, no, no, no. Christopher told me, Karen said, no, 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 it might be too traumatic. Don't, don't word it that way. So she's like undermining me. <laughs> it feels like she's undermining me a little bit. She's undermining everybody. Right, right. That's the thing. You know, she's obviously used to, to, Running everything. Yes. Yeah. Telling of people what they have to say, what they yeah, have to do, where they have to go. Which is That's why their business is failing, right? Because <laughs> people are sick of people telling them what to do, what to say, whatever. Well, did you tell Logan about my my other friend April? No, I did not. I thought oh. I would give you the pleasure. Logan, so I told you about my friend at the Venetian, right? My friend that what runs the publicity yes. and that they used to use Murphy O'Brien, but yes. they stopped using them. Because my friend used to go crazy. Not, and I used to. I can't tell you how many hours I listened to her talk about this PR firm in Los Angeles. Really? Oh, she hated them. She was constantly complaining to me about them. And then I realized after she said the Venetian that it was that's who my friend was talking about. But anyway, so I was had lunch with my other friend April a couple of days ago, and April runs a um, um, like an event. She runs events like uh, movie premieres and things like that. She puts on all of these big you know events. And so I, as I was having lunch with her, I'm thinking, wait a minute, you must use PR because she would be the one to hire everything. She doesn't do it anything herself. She puts it all together like a production manager in a, on a film, you know? So she puts it all. And so I said, do you, who do you use for your PR? And she goes, well, we used to use Murphy O'Brien, but they we stopped being able to deliver. So she named some other company. They stopped, she stopped using them too. They stopped being able to deliver? Whoa. She stopped using them, she said, um, just before COVID, because they just weren't, it wasn't had, she said it had nothing to do with COVID because it was before COVID. Yeah. But I'm thinking that this all happened really right around the whole Nicholas thing. That's really yeah. when both of my friends stopped using them. So uh, is their business really hurting? Do you think? I mean, I'm just going by my two friends, but those are, oh. those are big clients. The oh yeah. The Venetian? <laughs> And when you think yeah. about it, I mean, I know it, people who have money, right? People who have money are always the worst penny pinchers. We know. Yeah, that. absolutely. We know Mark that. Gordon. Uh, yeah, Mark Gordon. Gordon. And others, right? Um, so we know that. But as you see, they had to remortgage the house. Yeah. To pay for the lawyers. Lawyers. And Brett for, said on my phone call that it's all gone. Well, yeah. The money for the. I don't know how much the lawyer must have cost them to do this Gould case because I'm telling you now they got walked over on this Gould case. One hundred percent. Gould must be laughing his fucking off because he they just he just walked all over them with what they what he I don't even know why they bothered because he didn't do anything. I don't understand any of it. Like what you know, I mean, Gould said, "You will not prosecute me. You will not. I can still see Nicholas. It's just I can't contact him. If Nick contacts me, I can still see him. It's not a problem." So all of this stuff, the how at the it's beginning, so bizarre. how they talked about how Gould, you know, we oh we stopped Gould doing this and we did this and we not. So they lost that case in my eyes. 
Yeah. They lost that lawsuit 100%, right? And they're obviously scared shitless to go after him because if it gets known that it's them that's initiated it, yeah. they'll just end up back in court and they will end up paying him a lot of money. What a mess. So, what an absolute mess. You know, so yeah. and that's why they want to go now. They want to go after the Matthew rather yeah. than Gould. You know, even though, and it was quite funny because in one of the in one of the emails that they sent to do with his bloody storage locker or whatever, and I haven't printed them all yet, she actually said, let's concentrate on going after St. Matthews and Gould. And I'm like, how? Two weeks ago, you stopped us doing that. You didn't want us right. to go that route. You didn't want us to go after them at all. You know, it was like, no, 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 let's concentrate on Nicholas and, and obviously it was Susie at the time, Susie and whatever. You know, and then in this email, just the other day, she said, you should be concentrating on going after Max and Matthews and Google. And I thought, hmm. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. But so, so, Logan, what are we going to, what are we going to do? Because we're going to have to give them some, I mean, Kelsa, sorry, I should be asking Kelsa really. Well, yeah. On the floor. They want to know, they, they want us to come up with some kind of a program. In other words, Kelsa, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, or whatever it is, come up with some proposed, you know, meeting like that. And I said the same thing. I said, we could do that. I said, we can, you know, pick a Monday, a Wednesday, a, a Friday, or a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Um, however, I said, that may interfere with what Nicholas is doing. And we have to kind of roll with that. 